Hey everybody, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live in Nashville at Jan's house right now. This is presented by our friends at Show X, which gives musicians control over their own ticketing. We're live with Charlie Worsham. Charlie, it's great to see you again, man. Great to be back, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude, this is a wonderful way to start the day. You have sounded excellent in soundcheck so far, and Thank we're you. about to share a lot of brand new music with the internet right now. What's happening first? Yeah, well, there's a lot going on in my world. We got a seven-week-old son at home. Turns seven weeks tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. I'm a proud dad. And uh, I got a new song coming out at midnight tomorrow. And I'm playing the Opry this weekend with Leslie Jordan, Vince Gill, and Brothers Osborne. More new music coming throughout the summer. Uh, we painted a mural uh, of our own here in Nashville, Tennessee. I feel like we're quickly becoming the mural capital of America. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you all, all about it. But I'm going to start by showing you all where uh, the journey for all this new music began for me. It was 2017. I put my uh, most recent album out, Beginning of Things. And that same week, my day-to-day -day manager quit management, and I was fired from my pub deal. And uh, I was kind of in, uh, painted into a corner there, but I was in love with this girl. Uh, who became my wife and so somewhere in the Carolinas trying to write my way out of this deal uh, in a dressing room that had a flicker and fluorescent light and smelled like stale beer as every good dressing room should uh, I wrote this song and it turns out it was the first song uh, to fit into the puzzle piece uh, pile of puzzle pieces that is this new new batch of music here this is for the love If I was in it for the money, I'd have a mansion on the hill by now. If I was in it for milk and honey, I'd have honeybees and a cow. If I was in it for the fame, you'd already know my name. I've only ever been in it for the love. I was born to make a loud noise A six-string troubadour Like a kid who thinks he's a cowboy With a cap gun and carousel horse I keep running down the dream That runs in my bloodstream I've only ever been in it for the love Put your heart into it For the love of God Don't do it If you're in it You better be in it For the love, yeah Woo, I ain't been on the road in a year well, Daddy was a rock and roll drummer He suffered in a suit and tie Yeah, that bank job did a number It drained his spirit dry He said, listen, son, learn from me Oh, the money ain't everything So I've only ever been in it for love That's right Put your heart into it For the love of God Don't do it If you're in it You better be in it For the love That's right From making a fortune But I do pretty good for myself 
And I know what's most important I got my family and I got my health I keep my main objective On keeping a good perspective I'm in it, yeah, and I'm in it for the love If I was in it for the fame Oh, you'd already know my name Yeah, but I've only ever been in it for the love <laughs> I'm uh, I am just in love with this moment. Man, dude, you sound tremendous here in this environment. Man, this is a total, total pleasure to have you here. You sound great on that instrument. I want to talk about that instrument a little bit. Yeah. I heard you and Jan geeking out a little bit earlier about uh, about that particular guitar. What uh, what are you playing here? Yeah, today? well, of course, me me geeking out on a guitar. That's every waking moment of the day. This is a Martin Sinker. Uh, for all the guitar nerds, it's a Quato size. Uh, and this was a very uh, sweet gift from my wife. Uh, she surprised me with it the morning of our wedding day. Oh, nice. Almost missed the wedding because I was playing guitar. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> um, but uh, I've, I've, I've been wanting a sinker for ages and ages. Uh, George Gruen is the only guy in this town or anywhere really that can get you a sinker. And it's using the, the, the back and sides, neck and blocking or all this wood that they dredged up from this river in Belize where Martin sourced all its mahogany all the way till the 1930s and the golden era of Martin's. And George Gruen went to Martin and said, I'm buying every guitar you make with that sunken wood and here are the blueprints. And because and, uh, and, he knows more about uh, those instruments than just about anybody. And so I play this guitar all the time. This is the if the house was on fire guitar. Yeah. That I'd yeah. grab, you know, or one of them anyway. I'd probably try to get three in my arms. But after everybody was safe, of course. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> um, what about other other instruments? I saw, uh, just saw that you were uh, nominated for last year's ACM award for a specialty instrument player of the year. What other instruments do you have in your arsenal? Oh, oh my gosh, too many to all talk about all of them in this live stream. Uh, I will tell you, with reference to the music uh, I'm putting out, uh, a really interesting thing happened in the process of uh, beginning to work with Jay Joyce. I, I've been so just fortunate to play sessions my whole time here in the 15 years I've been in Nashville. I kind of entered being a solo artist through the side door of being a side musician and a session player. And uh, I'd worked with Jay Joyce, who produced this music on me before, on like Eric Church records and stuff. And I'm usually the guy they call to play banjo, mandolin. I, I grew up a bluegrass kid, uh, and uh, and acoustics, and every once in a while some electrics. And so, a year and some change ago, we were at Banner Elk working on this Eric Church record that just came out. Uh, and I. Uh, I, I decided then, and I was like, I got to work with Jay Joyce. Fast forward to working with Jay Joyce, and uh, he challenged me to stick to one guitar. And I, I played multiple acoustics, but I stuck to one electric guitar. And it's a 1960 Gibson 335 that was also an incredible gift uh, from my, I call him my North Star, but Vince Gill. It was, a, it was a wedding gift. He called me and said, come over to the house, I got a wedding present for you. I thought we were gonna get like this incredible toaster. <laughs> uh, but it was way cooler than any toaster. <laughs> and that's the guitar I stuck with. That's the guitar I probably, when I'm playing electric at the house, play the most. And uh, y'all just have to come over to the house sometime. I'll, I'll give you a tour of all the instruments. All right, man, next time we're in Nashville, we'll do a live stream from Charlie's house. There we go. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, dude, you sound great. And uh, it's a total pleasure to have you here. Birds singing back up. Yeah. Um, yeah it's Environment sounds great, and there's a lot more music of yours to be shared with the internet. What's happening second today? Yeah, I'm going to play a song. Uh, those of you who are familiar with me might have already heard this because it was released about a month ago. Uh, and keeping with the idea of sort of bringing y'all up to speed, you know, I wanted to play that for the love song because it kind of hit me uh, in the process of writing for this chapter of, of my life, musically speaking that uh, I needed to build my life around something other than music because music and my expectations for what I, I needed in my heart to happen weren't healthy. And uh, I, I've, you know, I've, I've been uh, the, the 
they call it best kept secret or whatever in Nashville for a long time now. <laughs> I don't want to be a secret anymore. <laughs> and uh, and uh, during one of those seasons of frustration, uh, I was renting this little house over on Lillian Street in East Nashville, and it was late one night. I've been drinking maybe some whiskey, you know. And maybe there's a George Jones poster on the wall and or painting, and uh, and just everything I'd been feeling hit me all at once. And uh, the words for this song started spilling out on the page. Uh, it was the first time I got that honest about how angry I was. And uh, fortunately, uh, enter Kristen into my life and I started building other things in my world. Uh, but this is a real honest song. I think anyone who's been through the last year can relate to it because uh, sometimes it feels like the world's against you. And certainly anybody who tries to do something that pulls them far away from home, requires you to uh, tend bar, while you work on that dream, you know, you're inevitably going to have a season of frustration. And this is my song for that. And it's the first new music we put out last month. And it's a song called Fist Through This Town. Living in an attic, working in a basement. Scraping it together. Pray we make the payment Got my hero on the wall Whiskey I can drink A place to sit and wonder Why I don't get paid to think to the ground yeah. I ain't a killer but I let that bastard drown yeah. I want to put my fist through this town She undresses in the dark a barely burning fire After a long night of short tips from the drunks and the vampires Man, this ain't no fair fight at all It's a kick in the teeth She'd be the queen of these godforsaken streets If it was up to me to the ground yeah. I ain't a killer but I let that bastard drown I wanna put my face through this town
Well. All right. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, man, we appreciate it very much. So how how do you feel about this town right now at this particular moment? How have you, oh. I mean, having a new new family, congratulations again on that. I mean, that's amazing. Thanks. I'm it's sure. been a while. I won't tell you, it's been a wild week. It started on Monday. My buddy Drake White's uh, in, been in the studio making some new music and was playing on the session. And I've, I've been playing sessions throughout the pandemic. It's been the saving grace without touring. Because the my favorite member of the band is the audience, right? But if I can't have the audience, just give me some musicians who fill my heart, and uh, so that's been a way to to you know well, pay the rent, but also just have you know a full heart this past year. And we had our first session on Monday with no masks, because I'm fully vaxxed, baby, and I'm well I'm here right. for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And so I'm, my heart is very full right now, and uh, and man, it it's. Uh, it's it's a little strange going around without a mask. Yeah, it is. It's like there's this re-entry period, and uh, and I'm also like a little underslept, you know, because young Gabriel is sleeping about three hours at a stretch. <laughs> uh, but I'm kind of loving it. It's just it's this is the best part of life's roller coaster so far. I got my hands in the air and I'm hollering. Good man. Well, I'm glad for you. That all sounds wonderful. I'm glad that it's going like this, and uh, and that you're sharing the music with us today. And there's there's still a lot more of it. We're only halfway through right now, and there's uh, there's uh, what's coming up third today. Yeah. Well, this is the song. I'm, the song I'm about to play is the song coming out this week, and uh, I'm so excited. Uh, this is the first time that with new music, uh, we sort of created all the content in such a uh, condensed amount of time. We knew the baby was coming, and so we shot these three music videos and within a two week stretch and uh, I'm everybody that wants to can go out and see the music video for Fist I, I recommend you do it's a pretty cool video uh, but I'm particularly excited for the world to see the video for this song uh, this is a song I wrote in that same rented house on Lillian Street with my buddy Jimmy Bell and uh, it's it's the road map for love that I was given as I was raised and sent out into the world. And it's what I used uh, to get to where I am now as a husband and a father. And it's where I'm going as a dad. And it's a love song, man. And because uh, I've been living that. And this video is chock full of all these personal artifacts, these pieces of my story. There's a writing desk and on that writing desk, pictures of my grandfather who you'll hear in the first line talking about him running a Texaco. He really ran a Texaco. Uh, some Mississippi mud pottery, Peter's pottery out there. Uh, and a uh, picture of my dog. There's a magic memory tunnel scene. I don't want to give too much away, but I also uh, am playing this guitar, but with Chet Atkins old guitar strap on it. That's a whole nother live stream story. <laughs> but uh, it's this is just my love story. And it, and it connects everything from, you know, my dad's drum kit, which I have in the music room now is my first memory of music sitting in his lap, hitting the drums to, you know, our son started smiling at us and came home from that Drake session Monday and he heard my voice and he turned to me and he smiled and it's just like man this, this is just a great time and this song kind of stands for all of that this is Believe in Love I believe in working hard from the Texaco star on my papaw shirt I believe in the Lord above Cause my sweet mama took me to church I believe in the power of good songs and good dogs Cause of my old man And I believe that life's what happens While we're making other plans And you, you make me believe in love you you give me a reason to trust that there's a happy ever after if it's with you that's enough baby it's true you make me believe make me believe in love I believe our better days are up ahead and not behind. I believe we'll have our struggles, but to get sweeter with time. I believe everything I give you, you'll take to heart and keep it safe. 
And I believe the time we spent apart Was well worth the wait And you You make me believe in love You You give me a reason to trust sound i yeah. missed it dude it sounds wonderful in the open air here uh here out on the deck what is um i mean how talk about how i would imagine you're pretty excited about the opry on saturday and uh, what's the what is it what's the show going to look like on saturday this is going to be a, an opry night to remember uh i have a mutual friend in travis howard a, a friend of mine, a songwriter who uh kind of went out to Hollywood to be an actor and ended up on Nashville Star and ended up writing hits from Randall Lambert and uh, he and I wrote a, uh, some songs, one of which got cut by Dirk Spanley. We've been buddies since my early days in Nashville and uh, he is my mutual friend with Leslie Jordan and uh, uh, he, he's known Leslie since his early days out there in, in LA and Hollywood and when the pandemic hit uh, Travis and Leslie kind of quarantined together and they would uh, bring light into people's uh, homes through the power of Instagram and Sunday morning hymn singing. And fast forward, all that resulted in Leslie making a gospel record that's got Dolly Parton on and Chris Stapleton and yours truly uh, and a bunch of other great folks. And it's just Leslie Jordan singing hymns with, with a lot of help. And uh, that's what we're going to do on the Opry Saturday night. We're going to welcome Leslie into the circle. It'll be his debut. Uh, standing up there with him, in addition to me, will be uh, T.J. Osborne, who's been a friend of mine since I first moved to town. He used to be in a band with his brother. Now he and his brother are in a band. You might have heard of them. Uh, <laughs> and then with Vince Gill. Vince is going to fill in for Ashley McBride on working on a building. We're going to do a little Will the Circle Be Unbroken, the official song of country music. And it's going to be a big time, and I, I'd, I'd love for everybody to tune in. If you got an AM radio in particular and you can get the signal, that's the best way to listen. But you can go to you know, Opry.com and all that and, and, and get you a, an Internet signal of the show. You can watch it on Circle Network. And uh, it's going to be a big night. Cool, man. Well, congratulations. That's such uh, it's a very, very cool way to, to get back into it. It sounds like a killer lineup. And uh, thank you for the preview of the music here out uh -huh. on the deck for the six of us and for the many people that are on the other side of those lenses uh, yeah. at home right now. And uh, there's still, there's more. We've got bonus music, man. What do you feel yeah, like closing I'd us out with Yeah, I'd love to sing one more song. And, and let me just say thank you to everybody tuning in. Uh, I can't wait to be with you in in person and, and sing to you like we're getting to do here. Uh, if you find that you're booking a trip to Nashville, uh, holler at me on the, the Twitter and social media world because I got recommendations, all right? Uh, I got a lot of recommendations, but I'll try to keep this sort of brief. You got to go to the Station Inn. 
Uh, it is the Sistine Chapel of country music. It's 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 sort of to bluegrass music what the rhyming is to, to country music proper. And, and uh, I just believe in that room. It's got a power to it. You can sit in Lester Flatt's old bus seats. <laughs> and uh, when a song's really good, they ring this Swiss cowbell, and it's like the best sound in the world. And uh, I tried out a bunch of my songs uh, in the journey to this new music at the Station Inn. And it just so happens that that week I was talking about at the start of the live stream when my manager quit management and publisher fired me. Uh, I was I was playing my album release show for beginning of things at Station Inn, and my wife was there. She wasn't my wife at the time. Uh, she helped me bring my guitars out to the car, and I'd had a beer because you have to have a beer at Station Inn, and we were going to eat somewhere in, around the corner anyway. And that was the first time I told her I loved her. And uh, that's what this song is to me. That's the memory it takes me to. But the, the title came from a line of dialogue in Twin Peaks, one of the first shows we binge watched last year. And if you're coming to Nashville, go to uh, where a redheaded stranger is for some good Austin style tacos. Walk around the corner, Folk. It's right there. They have good pizza and good food. And they're next to Wilburn Street Tavern, great little dive bar. And across the street from Wilburn Street Tavern, y'all is a brand new mural here in Nashville, Tennessee. And is it Angel Wings? No, it's not Angel Wings, thank you very much. It's a bouquet of flowers. On one side it says, I like you, and on the other side it says, I like you too. It will be featured in the music video for this song that's coming right around the corner uh, this summer. So, Station Inn, Redheaded Stranger, Folk, Wilburn Street Tavern, and the Flower Mural. That's everybody's Nashville vacation homework. This is Half Drunk. Ain't sure that I should have done it But I sure am glad that I did At least you didn't take off running When those three little words came tumbling off my lips Half drunk, half joking, half crazy From day one you've been the one, baby just cause I went and said what I meant Don't mean I didn't mean it A hundred percent I love you And hope you won't hate me Just cause I may be Half drunk, half joking, half crazy I'm all the way into you Don't know what I was thinking don't even know if that's what I was doing is called It couldn't hurt that I'd been drinking Yeah, cause looking at you, girl, I couldn't help spilling it all No, oh, you're half drunk, half joking, half crazy From day one, you've been the one, baby Just cause I went and said what I meant Don't mean I didn't mean it a hundred percent I love you And hope you won't hate me Just cause I may be Half drunk, half joking, half crazy I'm all the way into you All the way into you I got my fingers crossed today this is just what you have been half hoping, half waiting, half expecting me to do. You're half drunk, half joking, half crazy. From day one, you've been the one, baby. Just cause I went and said what I meant Don't mean I didn't mean it A hundred percent I love you Hope you won't hate me Just cause maybe Half drunk, half joking, half crazy I'm all the way into you Thanks, y'all.
All right. Oh, yeah. Man, thank you for kicking off our Wednesday like this. This has been a total pleasure to have you out here on the deck and uh, have a great show on Saturday at the Opry. Congratulations you. on your expanding family. Man, this has been, uh, been a total pleasure having you here today. It's been great being here. Thank you. Thanks to everybody at Pace. Thanks to everybody tuning in. See you all down the road. All right.